Hi, my name is Jeremy. I'm a uh, student here at University of West Florida and my major is uh, Natural Science in the Environmental Science program. I went to this major because I wanted to be closer to my passion which is science and I wanted to go into this field of climatology and meteorology because I have an intense fascination of all things atmospheric and how it affects um, uh, things here on land, things in the ocean, and uh, the changes that are going to occur, uh, or are very likely to occur here in the future. When you are planning to take this major, you can expect to take classes like hydrology, um, soil chemistry, uh, weather and climate, um, uh, soil analysis, definitely GIS programs such as uh, remote sensing, uh, and uh, applications in GIS uh, as well as GIS coding. Um, labs are a are going to be a very very a very important part. In fact, I, they're my favorite part of all the classes. Um, but they expect to be doing a lot of lab work. Um, there are definitely requirements for such uh, things as. Uh, going out and, and interning at uh, places around your community and um, becoming involved in uh, local environmental acts, not necessarily saving the trees, but how to um, use your city dump as a way to, um, you know, harvest energy to power things through methane rather than, you know, uh, using gas or oil, or excuse me, uh, using just oil and coal. Um, so there's, there's tons of options that you could uh, have with the environmental field, uh, environmental studies major that you'll be looking at. Um, but definitely expect to, to get a very well-rounded view of the environment itself, both ground, air, water, and how it all interacts, and then ap apply that in lab. As I said, my favorite part of uh, my major is working in the labs. Um, that includes things such as field work and then physically working in the lab. Um, there was one in particular uh, field work that I had where I went out and, uh, to, to a, an actual farm and we were studying soil characteristics so I got to dig in the dirt and um, I got to um, uh, count earthworms. I got to do soil respiration and see how much CO2 the bacteria in a certain group was emitting. Um, or respiring, I guess would be the right word. Uh, and then I came back to the lab and I was doing, you know, um, nitrogen concentrations, phosphorus concentrations, um, doing things like bulk density, seeing how much soil is in a certain volume, and uh, doing aggregate stability and seeing how well soil uh, uh, sticks to each other and how that affects runoff, and so on and so forth. So I would have to say that that those those kind of experiences, the field work itself. I mean, I've been out and I've done dendrochronology where I've cored trees, and uh, and I'm in the process of um, working in that lab, and that's that's a, a whole lot of fun. Uh, so there's still there's a whole bunch of different things that um, that are out there, and my personal favorite is going to be soils and and, and dendrochronology. I have to say the hardest part about this program uh, about being in this program for me is also something I wish somebody would have told me a couple things actually is the first thing is is if you're going to go into a scientific field expect to be scientific expect to be thorough expect to look at all different sides of a point of view of a hypothesis be ready to engage in the scientific process and be ready to accept criticism from your peers as constructive um, it's a growing community, it's not a judgmental community, and knowing that going in makes life a thousand times easier because you know that you all are going towards the same point. Um, you all are trying to achieve uh, the same goal, which is knowing more about the world around you and how y y we fit into it uh, and how it operates. And knowing that, I think having that confidence and, and knowing that you know 
a lot of students that have had issues with this um, this major, what they were dealing with was they didn't realize it was going to be so not complicated, but it was going to be so thorough that every side of a subject was going to be looked at and every side is going to be checked for validation and that's a lot of work that's a lot of reading that's a lot of asking questions and that's a lot of that's learning to be hum humble and learning to have that humility to sit there and go I don't have all the answers but I'm gonna do my best to figure that out and it's it's something that I wish that I had known before I'd come in uh, because it took me forever to get to this point and um, I was nervous and I was scared that I didn't know it that I was gonna fail the thing is, is that you can't fail as long as you try that's that's the only thing that's the best thing I can say is that um, come in expecting to do hard work but it's a lot of fun and it's worth it something to prepare yourself for when you come to this major to this in, to this to the environmental sciences is first of all know what your passions are if your passion in your heart is to be an actor environmental science isn't going to do much for you if your passion is to uh, learn about the human body environmental science is not going to be the passion for you but if you step outside and you look around and you just you just have an in Inquisitive wonder of why, why trees function the way they do. Why this tree is here but not here. What's going on? You wonder why clouds are shaped the way they're shaped and why they're moving the direction they're moving and why things are the way they are in the physical world around you. Then environmental science is for you. And the classes I would suggest taking, especially you know general courses, that if you go to take these and you have a good time with it, you're going to do well in environmental science. Things And it's going to definitely help you. Things like chemistry. Take your analytical chemistry. Um, apply yourself to it. It may seem inconsequential at first, but once you start getting into the nuts and bolts of environmental science, such things as like hydrology and the effects of chemicals within the soil, that all makes a huge bit of difference to have that background so that you don't have to catch up uh, in the class. Another one is uh, math. You wouldn't think that there's a lot of math in environmental science, but there's tons of it. It's all over the place, especially in things like hydrology and soil science. There's a lot of calculus. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of um, algebra and and there's a lot of mathematical logic that goes into this, uh, and not just you know these flowery ideas of trees being these beautiful things, which they are. But there's that's not the scientific aspect of it. And having I would say those two types of classes, math and chemistry, uh, just high, higher um, education, math and chemistry would would be invaluable to you. Um, and if you it, knowing having a good sense of who you are and what you like before you go into it doesn't matter any major but just specifically this one that I'm speaking about knowing this ahead of time um, is going to make your life a thousand times easier and and it, you know getting over that fear of the fact that it can seem daunting when somebody hands you a 15 to 30 page scientific paper with all these huge words you don't understand having that it's scary at first, but as with anything, practice will make it a whole lot simpler, and you'll start seeing the forest for the trees. And that's that's no pun intended, but that's that's really how that's what I would tell you.